Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few easy feature hits. Let's go. If you are already able to do small ollies, just go for it and try some ollie ons onto features. The ollie on is definitely a very important basic trick because it helps you to land exactly where you want onto the feature. It also gives you a nice tension on the feature if you do an ollie on rather than letting yourself getting pulled onto the feature. So just go for it and try ollie onto the feature. A small tip for your first ollie on is to look for a small feature like a small table and then just perform ollies parallel to the feature. So you can see if your ollies are high enough to go onto the feature. And if you have the feeling you are high enough, just go for it and try ollieing onto the feature. I would definitely recommend to choose a feature which has a safety or like a ramp to ride onto the feature because if your ollie is not high enough, you will still land on the ramp or on the safety which helps you to go smooth onto the feature. Try a nose press or a tail press. Pressing onto a feature is definitely a lot of fun. It works by distributing your weight either onto your nose or the tail of your board. The more flexible your board is, the easier it gets to perform a press onto a feature. For a nose press, you lean yourself completely over the nose of your board and bend the front leg and straighten the back leg. It also helps to push the handle down. For a tail press, you bend your back leg and straighten your front leg leaning yourself completely onto the tail of your board. It definitely helps to practice this off the water before you do it on the water. Also you can start with a small press and then press harder and harder. Tapping the feature with either your nose or the tail so for example at the end of the feature you push yourself out of the feature, straighten your back leg, bend your front leg to perform a little tail tap of the edge of the feature. Of course try out to spin on the feature. The most important thing is to keep your board flat during the whole time. Don't put any weight onto your edge of the board otherwise you will immediately slip out. So just pull the handle to your hip and initiate with the rotation by looking around your shoulder. Perform the spin and then ride off the feature. So it's definitely a lot of fun and you can perform 180s, 360s, 540s, 720s on any feature you want. Just try it out. Make yourself small. This also helps to keep a better balance and then Go for it. You can practice the handle pass off the water. If you already know how to land blind with the handle behind your back, a backside 180 off a feature is also a lot of fun and you should definitely try it out. The most important thing is to wait until the very end of the feature, push yourself actively out of the feature and then initiate the backside 180 with the blind landing. Landing blind of any feature at your cable park is definitely an important basic move you should be able to do. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget, enjoy the process. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it helps you to perform any new cool moves or inspired you to try out something new. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and give me a thumbs up <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new videos and see you in the next one.